Hey guys, welcome back to Container Crops. We are getting ready to do our first spring deck check. Guys, if you are not subscribed, do me a favor before we get started. Go ahead, if that button is red, turn it gray and turn on the notification bell as well. Okay guys, let's see what we have growing on so far. Okay guys, uh, I still have turnips growing. They are still growing pretty good. Happy about that, satisfied, satisfied. Look at that turnip down there guys. And my cotton with the peppermint oil on it so far is being successful. I haven't even seen a squirrel on my deck, let alone in my pots. Here is some more um, turnips. I've got some lavender down there and if you can see, that green spot right there it looks like they may be getting ready to come up and here is some red romaine lettuce doing really good as you can see they're nice and wet because it rained really really hard last night moving on over here now my lemon's not doing too good uh, i think it's a little leggy or something i'm gonna take this one up because i think i'm gonna take it up it's just not doing well but my grapefruit look at it guys Oh my goodness, it is doing fantabulous. Got a little bit of kale back there that never did do anything last year and it doesn't look like it's doing anything now. Coming on over here, more red romaine lettuce. Look at that, it is looking good. Got some new leaves down in there. I'm gonna be munching on some salad, yes. Okay, over here, over here we have our thyme. I've had this in here. This is two-year-old thyme. It was out here all winter. Now that spring is coming, it's looking back alive and beautifully green. So beautiful, so beautiful. Over here, I actually have a cantaloupe and a watermelon, guys. And look, if you see down there, another little watermelon is peeking up. Now, you know I'm going to have to thin that out. There's not enough room in here for no watermelon. But okay, we will do what we have to do. All right, guys, this is my big bin, my big, one of my larger bins right here that I planted all of my uh, mustard seeds in it, my mustard green seeds in it. And a few are poking their heads out. See that little bitty one right there? Isn't that cute? Look over here. Let's see, let's see. Where is it? Here it is. Isn't that cute? Look at it. They're coming up, they're coming up, they're coming up. Got a couple more over here. They're coming up yes okay now this whole bin is full of them those are the ones that have started oh found another one back there it looks like a four-leaf clover isn't that pretty i can't wait i can't wait okay guys these are my blueberries my blueberries my blueberries this is emerald and she's beautiful i don't know how old she is i don't know if i should be doing anything with these little flowers i know that's probably where the where the blueberries are going to come from but we shall see, we shall see. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, all right, all right. Let's go over here. This is another blueberry bush, and I can't think of the name of it. But, okay, I see some new little ones coming in there. And some new leaves over here. I am still doing a lot of research to find out what I need to do and when I need to do it for my blueberry bushes. Coming over here, oregano. I've had this oregano since last year. I transplanted it. If you guys saw that video, I've transplanted it over to this pot and it looks like it's doing pretty good. And here's my rosemary. That rosemary has been here for about three or four years now. Not four, about three years now. It's doing good. And look down there, you see that? That's basil. I've got basil coming up. Yes, woohoo, woohoo. I have nothing in this pot right here. I've got a surprise to plant in there for you guys. And my strawberries. Look how beautiful and green they are. Look at those new leaves, guys. All of these, this one right here, this one right here, this one right here came off of shoots. Look down in there. Look what you see. What do you see? What do you see? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. See it? What is that, guys? Woohoo. 
it's a strawberry. This right here in the center was the mother plant. And it's coming back as well. So I don't know if it's going to produce anything or not. But look right here. Look what that, I think that is sage. Yep, I planted sage in here too. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That could be something else coming up. That could be something voluntary. But okay, it's coming up. And guess what? It's green. Yes. Okay, guys, look. Look at the strawberry we have right there. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And here's another one. I guess y'all say, look at her while she's singing. And over here is garlic. I've had this garlic in here since last year. I ain't pulled up none of it. I don't know if it's ready or not. I'm going to come out here and pull one up soon. Pull one up soon. There is some more. This is some more. Um, oh, goodness. What is this? Of turnips. I, I, I sprinkle some turnip seeds everywhere, guys. Uh-oh. I sprinkle some turnip seeds everywhere. And this one hadn't done any good either, but I'm going to pull it on up and put something else in the spot. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull up all of this garlic because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some garlic in all of my containers around the edge because they're supposed to keep something off. Okay, guys, let's go on over here. And it's a pretty day outside today. Okay, this was the plant that I had stevia in. I see a little leaf coming down there and I don't know what, but I'm going to come out here and get all these dead leaves out of here. Uh, because it didn't come back. This was the one that was tore up by the creature feature the other day. Uh, this vine still looks halfway okay, but it's not bushy. It's just tall and leggy. I don't know. If you got anybody that has gotten this far in the video, leave me some comments down below and let me know what would you do if you had this stevia plant. What would you do? I would like to know. I would really like to know. So if you have made it this far in the video, please drop down in the comments and let me know what would be your choice to do with that stevia. Over here is some tomatoes, some, some seeds. I'm gonna plant some more seeds, some tomatoes because these are not looking good to me. I got some inside, they have not germinated yet. I've got some over here, they have not germinated yet, but it's awful, it's been chilly lately. So I'm gonna wait till the water, the water warms up. <laughs> No, I'm going to wait until the weather warms up and uh, see about direct sowing some. Okay, guys, that's it for our first deck check. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me in my garden today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to leave me those comments as to what you would do with your stevia if you made it this far into the video. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And for those of you all who are, thank you so much for your awesome support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And remember, anywhere you can sit a pot, you, you can grow a plant. And I will see you on the trail.